In this presentation, we are going to look at the coefficient of determination. So let's look at our example. The coefficient of determination is a measure of how much the variance in the observed values of the dependent variable, y, can be explained by its relationship to the independent variable, which we commonly denote x. So in other words, it is the percentage of variation explained by the linear regression equation. So uh, it's also called r square or r squared, and it can be computed by simply squaring the uh, correlation coefficient, also the Pearson correlation coefficient, to be precise. So essentially, all we have to do is simply square the Pearson correlation coefficient. Now, an important point, this is not actually the uh, definition of R squared. This is not the definition of the coefficient of determination. This is, uh, this, the coefficient of determination is the ratio of two sums of squares identities that I'm not going to mention yet. And it, it is more so that it's sort of coincidental that it works out to be the uh, square of the correlation coefficient. It's a sort of coincidence that uh, when, uh, for two variables x and y that they are so closely related. Um, so I, I just want to sort of uh, emphasize that that's not the actual definition of R squared. There's, there's a, it just, it's a sort of coincidence really. Now, uh, the coefficient of determination can take any value between zero and one, or you might present, uh, uh, express it as percentage as well. So zero to 100 percent. The closer the value is to one, the better the explanatory power of the independent variable. So uh, let's look at some examples here. So we have two set pairs of variables, x1 and y1, x2 and y2. We're given the correlation coefficients. What we are going to do is to compute the uh, r squared values, not 0.91, square that, or not 0.9, and we square that and we get 0.81. So that's a very uh, high um, explanatory power from that linear reg uh, regression. Here we have 0 0.7, and in that case, the square of that is R 0 0.49. Still quite high, well, still relatively high. It's not bad, but it could be better. Anyway, that is the end of the presentation.